It's an interesting I'm, shot. I'm Shout out to the camera crew. They're working right hard now. in I'm the production the area. They were so far past me being able to give a fuck about like making sure that like my quads are nice and loose that like I don't even know where. Are you, you, you hitting the hammies there a little bit? Hitting the hammies. I got to be able to do roundhouse kicks and. Oh, stunts. that really is important. <laughs> it is important yeah. when you need to whoop someone's ass. Yeah, What's know, up, Steven? Davy Fades, Charlie. We see you, Costa Rica Jack. Roundhouse kicks. You just need someone that follows you around. <clears throat> the Shane, how are you? Anchorage, Alaska, <laughs> where it's probably still light outside. Let some let Amanda know. I'm not. I'm not getting in there either. It's kind of funny. It's true. Safi, inform the relevant parties. <laughs> way that it's better than yoga. I don't think there's any way. <laughs> <laughs> what else was there? Right I did that one. Are you teasing? Yes. Oh, just I see what you're saying. Just joshing you. Joshing, bro. Oh, man. Jamie Kerstetter's in chat. Just joining, and that's the first thing I see. Jamie, you would not believe. We've seen some things tonight. I need to flop the nuts. That tells us that we're smarter than him because he's way, way over his head. He's teasing. Well, but wait a minute. I've seen some of his How about a boat for Jungle? How about trips for Viper? Buckle your seatbelts, folks. I spoke a lot of Six is full. I don't speak shit. Your problem is that both there players are, very, very deep here. Table, and you speak relatively quiet. And so sometimes you would be trying to tell me something, and I just, I'm getting blasted out on the left. Oh, I, I can <laughs> Viper needs an you wanna, you wanna I, deuce yeah. eight or ten. Thinking he's good oh, here. Right. He Both bets a thousand. Right. I don't know how he. <laughs> <laughs> John is going to raise it on up. Just, that one you get a lot of respect from, so. Four. Randall's a first-time oh, subscriber. Oh. Viper, Thank just you. with the call here, this pot could be a lot it's larger. Really like you do it. Can Viper spike the river? He cannot. cannot tell him go fuck himself. <laughs> Looks to be going in check call mode. He's not folding. Okay. Whatever jungle bets is, Viper's no, just going to snap it off. Don't see him raising. It's just going to be a snap. Yeah. If I had to deal with people like How that, big does jungle go? I'd be living 10,000? Quick call. Yeah, that sounds nice. It's probably a lot more quiet there. I'm, running I'm, an, old, I'm an only child. you got to remember. Wow. Viper, a little bit steamed up. Moves back in his chair, gets settled again. Can't believe it. Six is full. Actually, Doug, I'm gonna have to. I just thought about this some more. I'm gonna. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna raise to 800. And I just thought about the situation more where with my bet. I actually think it's a good bet on second bet. Because it's a raise. He pulls out aces, queens, kings. Do you have 70 buying? 70, yes. But you might use those differently. Huh? It might not be when you Josh play. now with ace queen. Um. Okay. That's the best straddle I ever had. He's gonna fold queens for sure, right? Like. I don't know. I guess. Trips is like way better than all those. Yeah, I don't know if it's like that. Better than all those, dude. Who do you think will be the last one with their knit button to pay the tax of 400 each player? Oh, I'm sorry. Who do you think it's going to be? No, I have no I have no I have king nine. I have king nine. I did not have I did not have jacks. That's the ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. You had jacks there? I did not have jacks. That's the most, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I had king nine. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying, you having jacks there and folding? I would have to completely rethink my whole life, essentially. <laughs> I'd have to go home for one week and completely rethink my whole life. Yeah, had Jack's there. Not even kidding. When are you going home? I'm going home tonight. Where do you live? When this game... I live here in Austin, right here. Oh, okay. Uh, 25 minute drive from here. Close to downtown. Oh. Are you guys... From Austin? I, I live in Lakeway. Uh, Lakeway? Is that near Austin? I'm guessing. It's connected almost. Bee Cave. Oh, Bee Cave. I, okay. And I live at Bee Cave. I'll leave, you know, like West Lake Hills? I live near that area. Uh, he lives a little further out, and I live a little further down. The boat now for jungle. You know, like that restaurant over by you called Shore. You ever eat there? 
That's I, good. I, I did, but I, the service was so bad. Oh, really? I had, I had good service. So I, don't know. Well, I used bad. to, too. Yeah. But then it, the Doug's going to fire at it here. Oh. I had to get on the manager back. Oh, okay. And my favorite was uh, Salt Traders. Salt? Salt Traders. Salt Traders. I don't know who Seems like Josh has had ace queen a lot today. Same guy. Contemplating, knowing that it is the knit game. It's right there, you know, we're on the Mopac and uh, BK. Okay. An ace right queen there. is it's, uh, a possibility. He lets it go. A little bit, but a little bit, supposed to be a little better class than, say, Shore. Got it. But Got it. I like Shore. I just don't think their menu is big enough. You have 70 behind that. But their service, at, what you, I used to go there four or five times a week at Salt Traders. Mm -hmm. uh, Jungle has money, chips coming to him. You live on the golf so that's course. why his stack says oh. that much. Chips just have not home. arrived yet. Those house, single story homes, they're all brand new up, up, up in there the last four or five years. Okay. Almost everybody on my whole block, old people like me that have. Downside, mm -hmm. and now we all selling out. I don't know why. It's getting crowded over there. That's part of the reason. I like Shoal Creek. If you like catfish, I like Shoal Creek so much. What's Willie Nelson's bar out in 71? What's that called? Out there where he has his hamburgers yeah. and everything. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's not. It's something. Oh, this is the barbecue place. Yeah, stop this on the right. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a good burger. You used to, we go, you used to go all the way into Marble Falls mm -hmm. and eat at that cafe there. They always had good. Jungle food. in the blender here. Pies and things was their big thing. It's still there, it's still going. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey, you eat it, Jeffrey, for sure, isn't it? Come cold, Bob. I want to call it Bob. Mm -hmm. For sure. This is, um... No offense. I just want to call the call. This is sick. This is, uh... I think it's uh, so far. Okay. Yeah. these fucking spots. Wow. We're going to set a record. Yeah. yeah. It's like no goddamn way you're bluffing. That's we'll have 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, the hand will be dead. Clock has been called. Harris called it on Jungle Man. Jungle lays it down. Doug shows the bluff. It is the knit game. God damn. I'm putting my honor in the knit game. Well, it's, it's good to have the option. Yeah, it's good to have the option, that's true. Yeah. I'm the white feelers, I think. Yeah, that changed like everything. I actually want to try whatever you're drinking. Miller Lite? Sound that way, though. Miller Lite? Have you heard of that before? Team Mill with the Cowboys. Gonna raise it to 3,500. Uh oh, jungle with the queens. Buckle up, folks. And Doug with the snowmen. Gonna lay them down. And you just have one in Thailand still. Should I go? Obviously not, dude. Jungle three bets to ten thousand. Back to T Mill. I like the lay down. Big fold there. How sick would Kings versus Queens. Are you still married? How sick would that have been before I sold my company? I would I would have been like, oh shit. It's a hell of a sweat. You're taking care of it. No, but they both might have lived with me. I'll come back and live with you. I don't know. You never know. Mm -hmm. You can go to the test and find out. That's it. 
And I'll pay for coming to Tusky to find out. So it's a pretty fair deal. Is that the Taiwan girlfriend? Or no, the white no, one? The one here. Yeah. Is that the mother of your children? No. No, she died. She didn't. I raised the children myself. So. That's too bad. Uh -uh. No, no, no. I divorced. What's T Mill going to do here? Both players very deep. There's the call. This is going to be a very nice. Enjoy this. I wish we just and it's going to give us three. Ace may kill all the action. Well, I'm I'm drinking. Oh, extra. I wanted to drink light. Oh, it's too late. Yeah, you look pretty yeah, light. Really just light here. No, I, I I like mm. light actually. Just the flavor. I actually prefer the light. Duncan is, is going to continue. Yeah, both. That's five thousand. I mean, I'm not. I'm not I, I also do the same thing. I don't want to. You know, I don't want too many calories. Uh, do you know that inside is a fine Pilsner beer brewed with the highest quality ingredients? I don't know. They use choice hops from the Pacific Northwest. I don't think I've been there yet. But if I could go in. Sombrero versus cowboy hat. T Mill with the Cowboys checks again. It goes check, check. How old were you when you left? It was my, I was 18. In the 70s? Like right when all those shots got? Yeah, there's a revolution. Yeah, my parents 70. are still there. They stayed in another two years. Goes check, check. Are you Iranian? No, no. Could have been a lot worse, I guess. Could have been a lot worse. That's what Jungle just said. Yeah, I'm going to That ace was an action killer. He does a good job of facilitating conversation. It's the Winning the Game of Life podcast. Definitely go check it out. Jungle, he puts a lot of time and effort and energy into it. And there's a lot of, a lot of good nuggets of wisdom in there. We have a player or something, but I want to get some Oh, you don't want to join. Okay. Yeah. Are you just kidding? This, this, uh, this is already have some clients essentially. <laughs> Meet man, yes, the 1K and 5K chips are larger than the other chips. And we're going to have soon a 25K chip to get rid of the plaques that you see in front of Doug. Did the people not like the plaques? Or is it just like, what was what was the decision around that? Is it when you have million dollar games, you want chips kind of a thing? I think that's the general idea. I, I just don't think the plaques were, uh, were well, well received from what I'm hearing. I don't know. Jungle turning the stones here. Pro means profit. Like PRO, profit. Profit. If, if it were checked to Doug, this would be a, a very good combination for him to find bluffs with without having a heart in his hand, having a nine and the jack blocker. I think that once jungle raises, he pitches it. But if he if he was to find a bluff, this is, I think, maybe Doug's best bluffing candidate, which is why you see him thinking here. Not having a heart's really good makes it more likely that his opponent have hearts in their hand, therefore more likely to fold when he raises. Having the nine blocks, two pairs, having the jack blocks, straights. And so Doug being the mathy poker player that he is does end up finding the, the three bet. And I think a lot of people watching this might say that it's a punt because they see the jungle has the nuts. But this, this actually just shows really how good of a no limit hold'em player Doug is because if you're not finding a bluff with this candidate, you're probably not bluffing enough. And Doug is the type of poker player that wants to be able to bluff at the appropriate frequency. And so if you're not bluffing this candidate, which is, to me, probably one of your best ever bluffing candidates, you, you, you have an unbalanced strategy. And I think that, especially against a player like Jungle, who's going to be more game theory minded, it's, it's important to find enough bluffs in these spots. Um, Jungle play in the trap, too. And that, this is really cool to see from him because he knows that Doug is going to be one of the only players to find bluffs here. Um, laying him even more rope here. I love to see it. Doug's going to fire. Yeah, same thing on the turn. If you have one of your only bluffs in a spot that is majority value and you get to the river with that bluff, you have to fire it. Um, 
even if you don't perceive it to maybe be winning as enough to make the bluff efficient, just for your overall strategy, you have to you have to continue to fire the uh, you have to continue to fire the bullets. Well, I'm gonna leave now that you're here. I can't beat you, so let's Jungle with no pair it. blockers. Which means that he makes it as likely as possible for Doug to have the sets, like the pocket nines and the pocket tens of the world, still playing the flop. Um, probably goes for a bigger sizing, would be my guess. I'm the only one that can set fucked up at the table, so is that part of the rule? Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see an all in here, just to try to get absolute maximum value from the nine nines of the world and the jack eights of the world. I'll charge interest, by the way. That's a little too much interest. <laughs> Count them for sure. And this isn't Hollywooding, as much as it seems like it. This is actually Jungle trying to figure out, for his strategy, what's the best sizing. Given right. that he doesn't have any hearts in his hand, does that affect whether he uses, like, a 45k raise sizing or an all-in raise sizing, right? Him having no hearts makes it more likely that Doug is bluffing. Mm -hmm. and so does that impact the sizing uh, that jungle needs to use here? Reaching for a bunch of bubble gum. 5,000 each. That he's shuffling. Make an overbed and Doug quickly folds. Ends up going with the 3x sizing. Um, this 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 sizing is designed to get Doug to call with his two pair combinations. <laughs> but the issue is that Doug does, I don't know Doug doesn't have a lot of two pairs as played. Does he three bet ten nine on the turn? Because remember it went bet raise three bet. Does that play call? Does that play re raise? Very interesting hand of poker. Guys, we want Doug to lose a nave game. Can we all like Can we all agree? Can we all agree? Can we all agree? We can we all agree? agree? That's what he did last time, too. Last time there was like three players. That's too rich. Jungle with the jacks here. Three bets to 3,000, and Doug, four bets to nine out of the BB. I was still gangster, yeah. <laughs> right. E fans played the Nick game with Doug plenty of You're times. Up. I got a lot of respect for that. Might be considering a five bet jam here really with really the really nines, and that would be dangerous into jungles jacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. You want liquid or pill? Uh, pill. Tough spot here for Ethan. Yeah, he knows that he needs to go pretty yeah, much yeah, all the way if he wants to get involved yeah. in this pot so with his dimes. You have some skill to, but you know what? Huh? These are the best. Which, which one, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's always you against me, no, and it's one. always oh, weird. It's so fucking lucky. And it's always so weird. Well, I know, you're in a different... Weird spot. It's like... I just rips it. Not Five bet rips 21,000. It's not going to get through jungle with his nit button over 100,000. Oh, it feels so good. How much is that? Yeah, like that, except I have enough. That's what I want. Eight, seven. That's a spot for jungle. It's a good spot here for jungle. It's a tough spot for jungle. Three bets at 3K. Four bet from Doug, who could be doing this extremely light with the nit button. A five bet rip here from Efan for 21.8. Don't see jungle folding, honestly. One of the issues here that I assume jungle's thinking about is does he ever want to even have a calling range in right. this scenario like does it make like will he trap here with ace ace is he allowed to put jack jack in there he's incredibly deep right they're playing 500 big blinds deep effective dug and jungle and so it's a really complicated spot I 
We'd rather the Ace King here than the Jack Jack for jungle. But still finds the rip. You got something good? Small pass. You got Jacks? Okay, jungle that one. It's a really weird spot. I was worried jungle my grandma cars. I didn't have a very good hand. Yeah. 53.4. What? Yeah. <laughs> so the only first one counts, right? Yeah, first. Running it twice. First board for the Nick game. Can Efan spike a red nine? Jack's second run. Jack's second run. No offense. Jack's whole second run. That's fine. No offense. Queen 6 2 Skittles. 1 9 already in the muck. So Efan. Only hope is the Nine of Hearts. Hands up. And he's not going to win the first run out. Jungle officially out of the Nick game. Doug also now down to heads up in the Nick game. I feel like I'm Jungle's lucky charm. He hasn't won a day on the Lodge stream ever. I show up to commentate. He's finally getting there. Oh, there it is. Jack's full. And Efan has been stacked. You add on. But he's going to be adding on for another 15. <laughs> it's right. nice to have him. Love having him back. Nick games, 90s games, like 10, 9, 8, 6, 6, or whatever. <laughs> Dylan Wiseman. It's like we're going a little. We have to put a hammock up in the bunker to get a nap in. Dylan, thanks. Seriously. No. I really appreciate you stepping in, and I know. All of Chatsville enjoyed. Yeah, he's here. He's right. He's right there. Pocket Kings here for Jungle. Three bets to 6,500. Suited A's for Efan. We hung out a little bit of Stormax. And Efan is tilted, chasing the losses. Rips Ace four. Snap. I have had some time. Oh well. How many? Thirty-eight point seven. Well, Going to be running it twice, it seems. Ooh, oh, ace. Wow. Yeah, that's a brutal flop there for Ethan. He loses an ace, but a set for jungle. Maybe a five? Ooh, a five would save him. How about a five? How about a five? How about a five? Oh, I almost, I almost Looks won. like a five. Smells like a five, but it's the six of hearts. First one goes to jungle. No hearts for Efan. Just an ace and an ace only. Only two remaining in the deck. One card to come. And just like that, we lose John and Efan.